I feel fine. Da, na, 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 na. You can thank uh, Bree this morning for getting uh, James Brown in my head. Good morning, everyone. This is DTM Delta Tango Mike. I am uh, Delta Tango Mike. You can always find me under Delta Tango Mike. And if you follow me, you'll start noticing that I started to uh, post a lot of Aztec art. And that's because um, I'm resharing a lot of my Aztec art that I have done in the past. And there's a little piece right there. Look at that. This is an Aztec character. I may be drawing them 10 years ago on Adobe Illustrator. And uh, and so uh, I set up a Instagram for it, El Azteca Moderno. Go ahead and find it, follow, and like some of the artwork. It's on Twitter, Threads, and Instagram. El Azteca Moderno. Welcome, everyone. I'm going to be drawing with uh, Sketchable today. Digital Art for Beginners on Sketchable. Today we'll be prepping the art for the DTM versus art battle. The art battle is happening tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. Lord Yada is going to be here in my home studio, and I'm going to set him up in the contenders uh, setup stream. Uh, what's the word? Uh, terminal. That's what the, the computer's. Computers, well, depending on how the setup is, uh, they used to be called terminals because the brains of the computer were somewhere else. In any case, what's up? Uh, how you doing on uh, on uh, um, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube? Uh, yes, we are streaming to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Behance, and Twitter, just like that. Boom, and lots of places, so make sure you check it out. In any case, yes, yeah, so Lord Yad is going to be here tomorrow, and so I got to work on the artwork, all right? So let me go ahead and pop up. Uh, see, this is Sketchable Plus. There it is. Let's go ahead and prop it up. And uh, and so uh, in the meantime, I want you to check the description of the video and go ahead and vote for DTM. Let me go ahead and uh, get rid of that. Let's see. Vote for DTM. Voting closest tomorrow at 12 p.m. That's it. This is the last chance. Copy. Paste. Vote for DTM. There. I'm adding it to the uh, chat now. Boom. There we go. And... There we go. So if you see the link and you have not voted for DTM, I uh, ask you to vote for DTM now. Do it. Oh, man. Uh, Jimmy Flame has 59 votes and I have 20. Oh, my God. I haven't really um, <laughs> been posting the link, so it's okay. It's all right. In any case, every week you can uh, check me out Um Morning sketches on Mondays, Vector Maestros on Tuesdays, except for tomorrow because we'll be having a our battle. And then Wednesdays is Vector Maestros live stream, 10 a.m. Uh, no, no, digital drawing with DTM Wednesdays, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern. Boom, right here on Behance. All right, let's see, let's see. And let's uh, clean up some of this stuff. Join us in the monthly art challenge channel. This is uh, today's the last day. This is the last day for the uh, monthly art channel for July, because that's it, July 31st. Oh, my gosh. Um, and then in August, we have uh, the splatterboard. So get ready for the splatterboard. That's what I'm going to do on, uh, on Wednesday, some splatterboard art. Yeah. I need to finish my uh, Vector Maestro. Uh, no, my Azteca Moderno uh, um, Scully's. That has started for the July sci-fi. So it's it's all fun. Join us in the Discord. Okay, let's go. Big ups to SLP Price joining us in the chat. And Penny Doodles. Oh my gosh. There is our contender for August 15. Penny Doodles. Get ready to rumble. <laughs> It is going to be insane. It's uh, amazing talent, everybody, everywhere, with everybody. And, uh, of course, uh, Spider John, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so I have my um, sketchable window open. Let me go to file. 
and uh, new because I want a particular uh, size preset. And let's go with a uh, portrait, not that size. Uh, A4. A4, is it A4? A4, A4, A4. I think I want the A4. And I want it, uh, let's see, 2480 by 3508. That's great. Create. Boom. There we go. I got my sheet of paper. I am working on the Surface Pro 7 today. Today's Surface Pro 7. Uh, file place and let me go get my owl. So tomorrow, Laureate and I are going to be working on uh, our battle, DTM versus, and uh, it's been decided that we're going for the owl. So let me, um, what I want to do with the owl that I drew already, I want to clean it up a little bit. And there it is right here. Boom. There's the owl. Uh -huh. That's good. That's a good spot for it. Got it. And uh, this is what I'm going for. I'm going for this owl right here. And uh, I brought it into a, a sketchable so that I can uh, organize my artwork. There you go. Like that. And then boom. Redo the sketch just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Uh, yes. That's right. Penny. Thank you. <laughs> Pow. Boom. Uh, welcome. 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 And, uh, oh, uh, all right. Thank you. Analog. Oh, analog girl. Okay. 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 Welcome. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Well, uh, so let's see. So I am in sketchable. I have a layer ready. I have the drawing, the sketch layer ready to go. And I need to clean this up because it's very rough. It's a very rough sketch. And if you want to download this sketch, there is a link in the description of the video where you can download the sketches and finish the art piece and your art style and then share it on social media with a DTM versus hashtag. All right, so let's go. I got the pencil. I got my pencil. Let's make it a little chunky. Yes, a little chunky. Good, good, good. Uh, one of the reasons why um, I like uh, the pencil brush it's uh, real easy to play with and adjust. And I like to have my window out so that I can make the adjustments on with a brush uh, size. But uh, because I'm on the Surface Pro 7, it's a little bit tight space. All right? When I'm, I'm drawing on the Surface Studio, I have lots of room and I leave a lot of things open. All right, so uh, also before I con continue, let me take a look at Lord Yada's. Uh, owl. Let me see, Lord Yada. And everybody has a chance to check out some of this artwork on uh, that you'll find on. Um, you can find it in that link that I shared with you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think I did some to it. There it is. So that's his. That's his owl. Super talented, Lord Yada. Let me. Uh, Go back to my sketch. There we go. Got it. All right. Done. And so I like how, you know, he kept it simple. He's got uh, one wing. He's got the the head right there. Um, a few details on the head. And then he's got the triangle and the circle. Oh, so he has a triangle and a circle also. <gasps> Interesting. I like that. I have a triangle and a circle too. You know, we said owl, and I did see the owl when he sent it to me, but I don't remember the triangle and the circle on there. Okay, that's fine. That's cool, cool, cool. I do have pictures of owls that I downloaded, and uh, when I uh, we started this challenge. Let me see. Oh, no, 2003, huh? Interesting. <clears throat> Let me see. Let's go here, and let's go look at some of the references that I found. Right, DTM versus right there. Art challenge, DTM, Lord Yada. And uh, here's some owls that I like. I really like the idea of the um, um, Egyptian owls. Oh, Penny says, uh, very angular <laughs> owl. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and so, you know, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of a lot of shapes, and you know, 
And what ended up happening is probably because of some of the re uh, references that I found. Of course, it's very ran fluffy and round. And that's what I need to think. And I'm glad you said that, Penny, because then that makes me consider uh, what it is that I need to adjust so I can be more owlish. Um, oh, this is from uh, from uh, the other uh, re another reference for a different drawing. And so there's the owl looking all cool. Little chunky owl. I think this is the one that I referenced. So yeah, it needs to be smooth. <clears throat> okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, you you broke it down for me, uh, Penny. Just like that. Just with your comment, you broke it down. So now I understand. All right. So let's uh let's bring that owl in here so I can see it too. And then this one I didn't trace. I did have a question in the Discord this week, and it was I think it was yesterday. And uh, someone asked, could I use these pictures of these people as a reference for my drawing? And uh, will I get in trouble with the photographer? And uh, and so there's uh, a long answer to it. But um, the, my answer that I gave is the one I'm going to give right now is that I, sometimes I do sit there and I trace over um, a particular drawing. Let's go back up like that right here. And I may go in and start tracing on the, you know, the owl or, or any other uh, reference image. And, uh, but what I, but in order to, but sometimes the majority of the time, what I like to do is use it as a reference and just let it sit right there. And then I go ahead and redraw it, which is why mine looks like the way it looks. However, if you want to trace over a reference, here's my suggestion. I'm on sketchable. Here we go. You you trace over and create shapes. Just shapes, right? Once you start creating some shapes, whether it's a person's face, uh, or a car. Boom, boom, boom. Once you start creating shapes, then you finish your tracing, and you get rid of your picture, and now you have this drawing to keep working on so now you reference your picture and you keep working on your uh, drawing <clears throat> and you may e I may even create other layers so I can then clean it up the way I want to mm -hmm. this is not a good example I'm just kind of telling you so that at the end of the day I will have made my own adjustments based on the original so that I don't have an exact copy of the original source material. You don't want an exact copy unless you do own the image, unless you do have the rights to do what you want. Yeah, sometimes I really not getting it. It's nice to trace, to get my hand, to think, oh, that's how we make that shape. Yep. Brain catch up, make that shape sometimes, some days. <laughs> that's correct. What you want is you want to um, recognize where, what line should go where. And, uh, and so that's a great way to organize yourself and get started. That's it. So there you go. Um, use of shapes. Okay. So where were we? We're right here and we'll get rid of that and uh, we'll get rid of that. And we're going to add a new layer. There it is. And, uh, and make sure we save. I need to save this. So save. There we go. And it's, um, got it. Come on. It's owl. Ow. Do what you want to do. I will sketch you. There we go. Boom. Sketchable app. Yeah, I'll save that. Ah, let's take it to where it belongs. It belongs. You got to organize your layers. I mean, uh, your folders and put things where they belong. There we go. I will sketch it. There it is. And that's it. Okay, cool. So let's go here. Let's go there. And uh, bam. So, but because I already kind of have it, uh, a sketch already, and I did this. And see, it's out of proportion. The, the thickness of this head is not here. It's kind of here, but not um, in the in the circle part. There you go. Let's go some some. Boom, bam, there we go. It's got the chest. You got a chunky chest. All right. And then let's do this here. And he does have 
a higher head, a, a, um, a taller head. He has a tall head. Look, see that right there? This guy will have a domey. And just throw lines in there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And I did uh, go crazy with uh, with the feathers down here. I just kind of threw a bunch of feathers. There we go. Boom. Bam. Here it goes. And let's go like that. And then here. And then we got the legs. It's kind of kicking it. And I kind of have an idea what I want to do, but... I don't want to stray too far from the source material for this one. I think I did. I have an idea for that. I can't remember. Sometimes, you know, when you, you think of stuff when you're in the bed, you're ready to go to sleep, and then you're like, oh, I know what I should do with this drawing. You're like, yo, man, not right now. I'm trying to go to sleep. There you go. Yeah. It's got some eyebrows on this cat right here. There we go. Boom. Got the eyes. Got the beak. He needs to be mad. He mad. He mad about something. What they mad about? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if I look at how Lord Yada did his, he did simple lines and then a little bit of detail. So I need to, I need to organize myself. I'm trying to get there. Mm-hmm. And of course there is uh, got a beard. All right, I can get the eraser. You know, kind of erase some parts. Which eraser is this? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one we want. Uh huh. Just kind of get rid of some things. Give me more. Get the pencil. Boom. There we go. And if I want the head a little higher, I can always like. Uh, Select an area like that, and then uh, move it around. There we go, and then deselect and make sure I continue to save. Thank you, God. That's right. All right, so there it is. So now we have that. So the head is up a little bit. Boom. <clears throat> I do like the the Egyptian style of um. Let's see, like, just keep it simple. Don't look for a lot of ref, uh, details. Just keep it simple. How regal they look. They look really regal, right? We got this this, this distinction. I don't know what happened down there. Why, why does it have a gap right there? What's that gap about? I don't know. All right, let's get back to my layer where I was supposed to be drawing. And, uh, and now I need to think about this um, onk. So it's on uh, top of the onk. And uh, I like Lord Gatos, how he did his. So let's do this. Let's just, uh, do we have shapes? I think we have shapes in Sketchable. Let's see. Let's go. There we go. We got a, uh, there is a triangle right there. Ha, ha, ha. got a triangle, man. Let's see. What if I, I need the, do I need the triangle or the circle first? I want him to like stand on the circle, but I want the triangle to be a little bit dramatic. All right. And, uh, and tomorrow we're going to be working in, um, Adobe fresco, but I'm sketching my drawing with, um, um, sketchable. So I got my pencil. Boom. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. There you go. Got it. So now let's do a circle. Let's turn that off and then zoom in a little bit. And now turn that back on and give me the circle. There we go. Oh, that's in the center. <gasps> yeah. What if it was in the center? Sure. Sure. Let's go. I may change my line, my mind later and I don't care. Um, there are other settings here. I think uh, this is snap to parallel. So let's go. Uh huh. There are some tricks in Sketchable that you're gonna check out. There it is. Boom. And if it's not centered correctly, that's okay. That's all right. Trying to see a mouse far, real far away. <laughs> Maybe the owl's not mad. It's just squinting since it's dark outside. Oh, that's right, Finny. 
Uh, it's a late night, early morning. That's right. Okay, so here we go. So let's uh, turn that off. I got my shapes done. It's out the, let's get that out the way. Close the ribbon. And, uh, and cool. So now I found an eyeball that I like. And uh, I was on Reddit when I saw it. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Let's see. I saved it to my phone, so now I got to go get it. So file. Oh, let's, let's give ourselves room. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it somewhere around here. File, place. Uh, Dropbox, that's right. Camera uploads. And uh, let's check it out. There it is right here. Boom. So from Tattoo Community on Reddit. Thank you, Reddit, for telling people where I found it. Let's go right there, right there. Got it. Good. And you see this eye right there? Like, that's cool. The way... Oh, that's what I was going to do. I just remembered. Yes. Anyways, let me save. Um, I like how people draw these older, old style, you know, kind of like, um, what do you call it? When they etch drawings. Yeah, and they have a lot of line and different line weights. Yes, I love that. So that's how I want to do this owl. Aha! I'm glad I brought this picture in because I, I remember uh, when I, I was thinking, uh, I came across this picture. I'm like, this is what I want to do. I want this style right here. See this style right here? Yes, this is what I want. How am I going to do that? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to do it. Okay. I, 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 it's a Victorian. Is it Victorian? Lino Cut. Thank you, Penny. There it is. Lino Cut. Do you collab with Mid Journey or any other AI? Lil Art Room is asking on YouTube. And uh, I play around with a few uh, AI apps just to give me some ideas, to flesh out some ideas that I have, but I don't include them in my art. As a matter of fact, I did uh, work on a poster and uh, I did use an AI back uh, image that I use as a background. So, you know, I play around with it some, some way. Okay, so there's the eye. Here's my eye, so let's move that eye around this way so I can see. There you go. Got it. Go back to my sketch. Here we go. Uh-huh. Okay, so um, let's do the eyeball. Okay, so they got the, the tear duct on the right side. That means that's the, the, the right eye. Yeah, and it's looking to the back. I, I like doing now uh, this eye with the left eye. So let's make it round. Mm -hmm. I don't think that this is uh, the right um, anatomy for the eye, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. All right. So let's just kind of like, you know, and I need uh, an eyebrow. Let me go over this. Boom. Bam, bam. I like the little rays. Uh-huh. Okay, so what I need to do is go like this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so I got my idea. I want to go like this. But I can't do all the lino cut. I'm going to start cleaning it as the sketch up, but I'm not going to do any of the lino cut style uh, inking because I'm going to, uh, that's for the art battle part. All right. Okay, so I got the eye. And uh, I need a circle. Can I get a circle? I want to make it pretty. There we go. Let's see. How do I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. You guys can't see it. I can. It's uh, it's moving. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's, let's keep it, like, looking at you. There we go. Yes, I got it, and then um, I got that. Uh, oops, there we go. That's right. That's on. So this right here, snap to parallel. That means that I can draw anywhere I want, and I can get an uh, um, uh, still keep that circle with that, and draw a different circle without having to move the the um, the stencil around. I don't need to move the stencil if I want to keep making circles based on that same circle. So I'm going to type going tight right here. You know what? Tighter. There you go. Good. Let's get rid of that. So now I can zoom in. 
Let's get rid of the ribbon. I do don't like drawing with the ribbon on, so the eyes can look a little kind of. Uh huh. Let me see. What did they do? Oh, I can't do shading. That's another thing I get. I get stuck in. Well, I guess you can fill in. Do fill in. No shading. That's gonna be a toughie. Ugh, I like doing lots of shading, and I don't. Well, I do want to keep this piece kind of like the, the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So instead of shading, it's gonna be, um, it's the way you do the line weights. That's how you get the shading to work. You see. So the line weights in his hands, the proximity of the uh, of the lines and also the thickness. The thickness as you get further out, it gets thicker, uh, thin lines in here, but tighter to make it more wrinkly or shading. Okay, okay. All right, let's uh, finish this owl. Let me uh, get uh, get that out because I'm just gonna move it. Let's go, let's move it. Let's put it right there. So I can see the eye, I only need to see the eye enough. I still need my owl. Ow, do what you wanna do. So what I want, yeah, I want kind of a, and then, phew. that's it, and then here. So now the other thing I would like to be able to master, and maybe that's an experiment time right now, is to see how could I do the lino cut style. Come on, on the chest and uh, on the details of the wings, and maybe it's gonna be just a. Uh, like that, one of the, those things. So let's. Let's stick to, and let's start tightening it up. Let's go, and let's make a new color. Let's get a new color in here. Boom, let's go with that. And let's go ahead and uh, turn the opacity down on that. Um, and this is all, that's that sketch. I'm trying to find, oh, there it is right there. Get rid of that sketch and give me a new layer. And we're here, okay, so good. Oh, so I do need my main sketch. Ah, that I was done. No, not yet. Not yet. Turn it down some. There we go. So I use a combination of my two um, sketches. Okay, cool. Okay, here we go. So what I want is the chest uh, lines, kind of like a we got a prisoner um, suit on, and then I want that lino cut lines and so could I do that so I need to uh, actually so it needs to come this way that's what I need to do like that right So then, oh yeah, yeah, and then I can go. I'm experimenting. I haven't done this. I just thought of it. So I am here to experiment so that tomorrow I already know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I have to um, that prepare so that tomorrow I'm not experimenting. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Not like in the beginning, not like that, but like this. Okay, okay, okay. And then, because uh, the thing to notice here is that each line is individual to itself. There's no combination of lines. Come on. Is that um, you'll notice that um, like even on the hand in the cloud, you have individual lines. They, they stop and pick up. They, they pick up, they stop, they, they start and stop, start and stop. They, they pick it up before the next line. So, yeah, even the wood, it's just like, and it's in pieces, it's not even all the way across. Okay, so the outline is thick and going all the way around. So, 
Here we go. So now, let's go. Yeah. Just kind of adding. I didn't like that last line, but it's okay. Boom. And then there's something going on down here. Oh, it's the fuzzies. He's got fuzzies, and then the the um, the feathers do do transition to the fuzzies and to the leg. Okay. So let's go like this. So that has to go like this, and then uh, and then there's a part that goes like this. And let's introduce um, some of this. Um, what do you call it? stylized lines you know where you have kind of some uh some of this so don't do like a don't do a line like that go give it dramatic turns yeah okay that's what we're gonna do because you know i gotta do it my way i'm mean, gonna try this lino cut thing and this uh um edges and lines for this drawing but i'm still gonna do my thing and so another thing we're gonna do is like, there you go. That can be like that. The, the little highlight, um, and the talons. Mhm. Mm yes. You see that. You see that? Oh my God! Now there is an outline to to the drawing over here, so I could do outlines. I haven't even done that yet. Okay, 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 okay. Because cool, I can do an outline right here, and then do one here. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. 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 And then I can do like a. So let's do it better. Let's do better. And then do a little tiny, tiny line. Like tiny houses, but a tiny line. There you go. Yeah, yeah, sort of like that. And then I'm just coming out with stuff right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our shingles like a roof. Yeah, okay, okay. Yes, that's right. <laughs> like a roof. Yes. That's what's crazy about feathers and scales, ain't it? It's like a like the shingles. Yeah, they overlap. Oh, there's so much work. I don't like drawing. Feathers or scales. Some artists make it make it seem so effortlessly. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, this size is not going to be the same size because right now I'm just kind of testing out my idea. And see, like, eventually you're drawing so much into the um, details into the drawing that you let go of the source, right? You stop, you, you do your thing, you try your style, your techniques, and so then your final drawing is not going to look like the source. So it's okay to use references. You should always look for references, uh, and it's okay to even trace sometimes. 
um, but but move away from doing every exact detail just like what you see on the reference you know start to play around with it and look up how other artists have done something that's why i have got us lord got us um um all right here because i want to see like well what technique did he use how did he do this how did he do that <clears throat> it looks like an owl <clears throat> and so um so you use uh, there are several different references to then come up with how would you like to do your thing <clears throat> okay and so then so to the, do the mustache let me move that up because i need to see this guy is that it uh -oh. it's uh, over here that's right this guy nope this guy there you go right there select it and move it right here i need to see that okay got it let's get back to my sketch right here this one right there and so uh, i'm looking at that uh the the, the mustache Got a mustache. You know, I didn't need to do the last two more like this. Uh huh. Okay. You just have like intersecting. See, so have offsetting, not intersecting, but offset. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and then here we go. I know what to do here. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need to go further out like that. And then I will launch. Okay. Got it. And then, um, yeah, this uh, left side is a little busted, so let's fix it. A little further out. Make it a little bit rounder, and then here, we're just going to go like that. Not perfect, but I'm I'm trying to get something here. I'm trying to do something. Oh yeah, give me my eyeball. Come back. This is how I add shadows. Oh yeah, yes. And then, um, uh, so I got the top. So now I need these uh, whiskers. Remember what I said about some of these lines? Like, bam! Oh my gosh! I don't know how I do it sometimes. I just do it, okay? I used to be a TV show by Lange Leguziamo. And uh, it's called House of Buggin'. And he would say, how do I do it? How do I do it? I don't know. I just do it, okay? Boom! Oh my gosh! I like it! Okay, I don't know what you guys think about it, but I, I think I'm on the right track. Okay, I need to figure out what am I going to do with uh, wings. And maybe I should look up some more drawings uh, out there about um, with the wings. So since uh, thank you to Penny for uh, saying lino cut because now, now I know what I'm looking for. Let's see. Lino cut bird art. I mean, I could just do owls, but there we go. Okay. Oh, look at that eagle. Oh, my gosh. All right. Huh. View all. Yes, come on. Mm-hmm. That crows. Oh, raven is cool. A lot of amazing artists out there. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Not quite what I'm looking for, but it's close. And I just need to see enough. Look at how they did this falcon wing right there. Ah, uh, that's it. Only $18. Oh, look at that. Okay. Uh-huh. So solid shapes. Solid colors. There's nothing wrong with solid colors. 
Huh, wonder if I can do that. But, uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, because if I did that, then, um, I just had to draw. Okay, okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So, there, this is the shingles right here. Look at all that. Ugh, they're going to all directions. So, let's go like this. And then I can go like that. And then I can go. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, first things first, just draw. Just draw and see what comes out. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. And then, um, let's see. It's got to be short. Told you I don't like doing this. So let's do that. Let's go like this. And I guess I got to think about being precise or even if it came out right there. What if it came out from right there? Like that. Uh-huh. I go here. No. I don't want to be able to make it match. Okay, okay. So if I did that, and then I need to do some of these go this way. So let's go. And then some of these come this way. So let's go like that. Okay, cool. So we got that. Boom. And then more. And this is where, you know, I've seen people do that, like the little line. Now, I'm not getting the the, the, the um, different colors in yet. I need to figure that out. But I'm getting something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Those are the tips. This is some of the tips of some of them. Let me see. Or is within. It's the tip. It's the tip. Okay, okay. So maybe. Oh, I see. I see. Let's go like that and then like this. Uh-huh. And what's going to make a difference is the width of the the w line. So the line weight. Looks great. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So if I go like this and then like that. So I can go like this. Right? So I do fill it in. And then eventually there's gaps. Uh-huh. Okay, so then I have to have a strong line right here. This is why we have pressure sensitivity in our um in our uh in uh in our devices and pen, you know, cuz all right, got that, got it, okay. Like that. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Mm hmm. And I need this to go this way. So this has to end right here. Go here. And then, um, so I got these. Got it, and then let's do some big ones right here. Do it again, do it again. And then this. <laughs> it looks kind of square, so it's fine. Right now I need to get my my drawing right and see so there's a little of a space so then what I need to do like that I 
through these little lines right here. Of course, right now I'm experimenting, okay? Tomorrow, I'm going to know for sure. So I'm going to sit around playing with this today. And Penny is asking a question. Oh, my God. What's your favorite animal to draw? Uh-oh. It's a gorilla. Gorillas are my favorite. I think I know what to do here. Gorillas are my favorite, Penny. Nothing beats a gorilla. That's how we're going to do this. See, this is why you experiment, because then you'll figure something out. Uh, so, yes, I love gorillas. Uh -huh. All right. Oh. What about you? Do you have a, a favorite animal? Go. Uh huh. Ah, I wanted that line. You see that? Uh. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Watching from Bangladesh. Welcome, Sabir. How you doing? No one picks a gorilla for an art battle. Because <laughs> then I will be on my A game for sure. That's right, Ben. <laughs> Watch out. You know what? As a matter of fact, um, Animal was one of the options uh, for the one of the early battles. And I think I did draw a gorilla. Check the sketches. The link to the sketches is in the description of the video. You can download any sketch you want. And then, uh, um, but um, one of the other options was dinosaur. So I drew Godzilla instead. Uh, but yeah, nobody can beat me on my gorillas. Mm -mm. Okay, now here we have this. Um, uh, I'm sorry, let me see. Horses are challenging, yes. Uh, Emery says, my favorite animal to draw is horses. Wow, imagine that, yes. I love horses. I'm not good at it, I'm not good at it. Can't be. Oh, so let's go like this, look. Something like that. That's what I need. Would it be okay to have that? See, this is where you kind of get lost. Like sometimes, maybe just the uh, detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make lines inside. Let the detail work it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do something like that. That's good. And so um, I'm offsetting some of the lines. Mm hmm. This is a tough art style to do. But it's challenging, but it's uh it's fun. Okay. So here I need uh some of this. Okay. Got it. I feel like the legs are a little short. Should be longer, but uh, let's see if we can fix that. Let me go to save first. Okay, got it. Then select the legs. There you go. And the whole bird may be a little short. Okay, deselect. And so now let's go like this. Uh, maybe he's right. Should be tall. No, it's just the hump. The hump right here. So let's just try it. So I didn't even have to select it like that. All right, deselect. Okay, cool. Now, the last part I'm going to draw on a different layer. And let's do the eye. The eye is kind of big. And so let's. Uh, oh, yes. And so let's go like this. Mm 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where did my other guy go? Right there. So this can be thick. Fill it in. Then we're going to have our eyeball. Like that. It's not it's not right. It's wonky, but it's okay. I, I'm, I'm working on the detail on how I'm going to do the detail. Okay, let's go like this. There you go. <laughs> okay, okay. It's not as cool looking as that one. Okay, I know what it is. Okay. So, of course, I am off. This is off, but it's all right. And then do a couple little lines here. Mm -hmm. All right. And I drew this on a different layer so I can move it around. There you go. Okay, I added way too much detail on mine, but it's okay. You know, and there are pieces that are tighter and closer. I didn't do that. It's okay. So I could I could play around with it a little bit. Let's fix some of these lines. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like this could have gone out like this right here. Mm hmm Like that. There you go. Yeah, because this one should go like that right there. Uh-huh. And then I can have another line here. Boom. All right, all right. That does uh, give you that sense of of um of depth Whew. i can't draw people says emery oh uh, i draw a lot of dogs says penny <laughs> don't choose king kong that's right <laughs> uh sabir says my favorite animal is messy because he's the go okay okay fine <laughs> um uh yes uh watch out for gorillas or king kong that's right okay so now uh i am gonna just draw the the triangle. You know, I wish I, I wish I could do the the little um mm -hmm. boom boom just get the triangle out. All right, there we go. Just set it up. Uh-huh. All right. And I'm going to get rid of the ribbon and then There you go. Why don't I do another triangle on the outside of it? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's change it to um. Uh, let's see. Circle. Oops. There we go. Right here. Mhm. Mm now it would be nice if the circle in. Uh. In the triangle were exactly right the same, but it's not. It's all good. It's all good. There we go. Mm-hmm. And then do a little one right here like this. Sorry, I can always erase things, but I don't need to. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. And then I need to do the sun rays. Ah! Ooh, I'm making things hard for myself. Okay, like this. See, it's going to be like fat. Like thin and thick. Mm-hmm. I got it. I got it. 
These are short. See, we got some big ones. I don't know what I did right there, but I'm gonna fix it right now. Okay, these are short. Short, that's long. This is short. There you go. Yes! Okay, okay. Just find the middle. Good, big, long, or long lines. And then these are short. Well, I did it. I don't, I don't know what I did right. But I'm going to fix this. Okay, okay, I get it. Um, but I did a lot of more lines here than I did there. All right, so let's try it again. So go long, 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 and then short. And uh, it's not centered. The triangle and the circle are not centered, so I'll figure that out. And, of course, it's not because I moved it. So I moved it. And uh, it's not in a different layer, right? No, it's in the same one. See how far back we can go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can keep going. All right, all right, we did it. Whew. All right, give me my uh, circle. Let's see. Let's see the triangle. Put the back triangle back. And then uh, let's go here. All right, that's the center. So if that's the center, let's do the circles right here like that. Circle. Cool. Now I know this circle is is um perfect. It's uh it's perfectly aligned. There we go. There you go. So that's what I want. I need that. I need it to be perfectly aligned. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Mm-hmm, and then I can move that around, like, if I wanted to. And then get rid of the ribbon. And then uh, I'll do the circles in a minute, but now I can turn off a bunch of stuff. Just turn this off, turn that off, and just turn them all off. Just look at my drawing. And uh, Lord Yadis, there we go. Oops, not that. I want that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, the onk. What about the onk? Eh. I'm thinking about it. Maybe, maybe, maybe I, I take it out. I did like the onk. We want the funk. Ready to funk. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. We're just going to leave it out for now. Just thinking, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so yeah, let me just play with this idea. Mm -hmm. All right. These are long. These are all long. Uh -huh. Okay, and then short ones. All right. Okay. Let's go with that. Mm hmm Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, okay. Last thing, last thing. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. This is all right. I like it. Okay, I think I'm cool with it. Ooh. Oh, what's up, Cressies? How you doing? Oh, man. Okay, I'm, I'm missing some things out on, on the from the neck here but that's okay it's okay for now um as a matter of fact no 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 i'll get to it i'm not gonna clean everything up right now this is a test this is a test like a, like a, one of those emergency broadcast tests um what i want to do is uh background so what i'm gonna do with the background let's go like this mm, nah doesn't matter Okay, let's just go like 
Let's see, let's go. Add backgrounds. I'm kind of giving away all my secrets today. Because I, I need to have some surprises for Lord Yada tomorrow, but I'm okay with it. He's my brother-in-law, by the way. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. And you notice how I move the canvas around so that my hand does the same motion the whole time. It's always doing the same motion. Oh yeah, don't do that. I got that. I'm missing a side. Let me see. That way, that way, this way, up and down. Sideways. Oh, where is all uh, this going like that? It's kind of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is tough. This is tough. Yeah, boy. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm just doing it, okay? Nice out. Thank you, Cressies. Appreciate that. And then do some more down here. Ah, uh, fix it. Come on. Do it right. Okay, doesn't have to be uh, super intense. Okay, it's good. It's good. There you go. All right. Bam. Okay, and that's it. We're done. We're done, son. This is the test. Boom. Sign it. This is sketch is going to the link. Uh, in the description of the video where you can download all the sketches Boom, make sure I save there it is. I'm gonna export that in a minute Penny says don't sketch yourself into a corner with that hatching <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cuz uh, you you throw it through so many lines everywhere and then after a while you're like wait a minute that, that doesn't look good right there Um, but you know, it's okay. It's background, you know, it's all right uh, that should do it with thinner lines. So this is a good test for today. Thank you, Penny, for your suggestions and feedback. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out today. Uh, Lil Art Room, Analog Girl, uh, Penny, Creasis, who else stopped by here? Emery, thank you for stopping through. Sabir, and uh, I know SLP Price was in the house. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You guys are all awesome. I appreciate you showing up. Uh, it's like you're going to rap music at any moment. The voices are real, Mike. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right? Yeah. Got the got the cool, cool sound. Appreciate that. 
Yes, he's. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that is going to be at noon Pacific, wherever you are in the world. Make sure you tune in at Adobe Live. It's uh, behance.net forward slash Adobe Live or on YouTube. It's Adobe Live is the channel. I am DTM Delta Tango Mike, and this is my owl for tomorrow's art battle DTM versus your favorite artist. I got a few more art battles to go. So tomorrow we tackle Lord Yada. So make sure you tune in and check the link in the description of the video so you can join us in the Discord if you'd like to hang out. And because uh, uh, we got a uh, brief prices hanging out in the Discord right now. Uh, and that's how we do it. Vote for DTM. There's a link for a straw poll for DTM. Oh, I need some help. I need some help. Otherwise, I'm going to lose. I think that's that's it. Look, look, here it goes. That's the straw poll. Go ahead and click on that. Vote for DTM. And Penny says, Discord is a blast. Yes, it is, because on Thursdays, we watch movies together. <laughs> and every month, we have an art battle. I mean, uh, our challenge. And, uh, and so the challenge for this month of July that ends today is July sci-fi. It is sci-fi themed prompts. And then next month, which is tomorrow, it's the um, Splatterboard challenge. So uh, we got all kinds of things going on. So check us out. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you. And I will catch you on the flip side. Peace out.